Let's now take a look at all the news from the world of technology. Tencent Holdings has announced the closure of WeChat Pay in Malaysia, ending their service after six years of operation. The move reflects the company's changing dynamics of services aimed at local consumers versus international visitors. Tencent Holdings has been trying to realign its focus on catering specifically to Chinese tourists in the region. WeChat Pay Malaysia will discontinue its local payment services on September 1st this year and the company has asked its Malaysian customers to withdraw their funds by the end of this year. According to reports, Meta is in discussions with actors Aquafina, Keegan, Michael Key and Judy Dench as well as some influencers for the right to use their voices in their upcoming artificial intelligence projects. Meta aims to use the celebrity voices in Meta AI, its digital assistant product. Reports further suggest that Meta is aiming to close the deal and announce it during the company's Technology Connect 2024 event in September. Access to Braille text remains a major challenge for many visually impaired students in Africa. It has led to many school dropouts. However, a new smartphone app called the Blind Assistant app is hoping to change the lives of these visually impaired students. It is made by a group of Ugandan manufacturers. The app scans texts and reads them aloud, eliminating the need to translate them into Braille. The company is currently handing out smartphones to visually impaired students for free. According to a 2014 national census, there are more than 250,000 visually impaired people in Uganda. Out of those, around 1,500 of them are school children. The manufacturers hope to equip more than 1,000 students across the country.